what's up YouTubers? It's me again, Brian, aka Gamer55551. And I am back with a video game, Switch Gaming My Two Cent video for this week, where I take a look at some of the stories that came out this week that caught my attention. And there were three for this week that did caught my attention, though. So why don't we get started right away? <clears throat> Excuse me. So the first story we're going to be talking about is basically Mama Software. If I'm saying the name correctly, um, these were the guys that are that are that work for Nintendo and have put out some several excellent games. Though actually two in particular, though. Um, but they have done some titles, though. Um, the first one, of course, was Disaster Day of Crisis that was released on the Wii, but never saw the light of day over here in the U.S. While they have developed what, what they're mostly famous for is the Xenoblade Chronicles series, though. The first one that was released on the Wii, then later ported over to the new Nintendo 3DS, thanks to the Monster Game, and then, of course, Xenoblade Chronicles X, a game that was released sort of late in the Wii U's life cycle, and at a point when the Wii U was sort of going <clears throat> downhill from there, though. So, but... And it's a title I would like to see so at some point down the road ported over to the Nintendo Switch. And of course, but in the meantime, of course, they're working on the upcoming Nintendo Switch title, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which supposedly would be out sometime this year. We'll have to wait and see if it does come out this year, but hopefully it will. And apparently they are basically working on a new title and have started hiring some more people lately, though. From a post posted on both on NeoGAF, um, and again, links will be in the description. There are several stories. It points out that they are working on an actual, on an action game. According to the post, it points out by originally posted by someone named Duck Roll, which was later put on a post by Tony H24613. Again, links are in the description. Um, it points out this is a brand new project that that will offer something different from Mono, Monolith Soft's usual brand image. It's a new challenge they are, tacking, they are tackling. They are looking for programmers and battle planners for the action portion of the game, specifically people who have experience in action games and able to handle responsive combat. This is definitely a fantasy action RPG. Um, take it from the website, they are recruiting action game staff in particular and the individual recruitment page for the act for the action part programmers and the action part battle planner specifically desires action game experience and responsiveness and enemy ai as things they want to empathize <clears throat> for the battle planners they are looking for those who, with an interest in medieval fantasy and understanding of western enter entertainment trends and they sort of put out some art pictures out there um, from what I understand they're looking for basically character models or modders map modders in-game animator technical artists artists I mean main character design concept art design character control program for action parts system and frame rate programmer um, planner for action parts um, and under management support project management um, this is from the site um, Nintendo Everything. It also points out that Monolith Software has website has three new images they've attached here. The positions are for the Tokyo Studio and may be related to another opening we recently heard about. We reported last month that Monolith was looking for an action planner with knowledge of online games and medieval fantasy and settings. So apparently it appears as though that Monolith is in the early stages of basically making a new, a brand new game outside of the Xenoblade Chronicle series. Which, to me, I'm happy about that. I think that's really good. Now, granted, we're not. Chances are we're not going to hear about this title for a while since it's probably this early in the stage. And and while many could point to the fact it may come out near the end of the Switch's life cycle, whatever that, whenever that ever happens though, I believe this is most likely will be released around during the Switch's life cycle. When it will be released is up in the air it's, and it's anyone's guess. But overall, I think this is good. I'm definitely looking forward to trying this, ever looking forward to trying this title out one day. Hopefully it doesn't fall into development hell. And 
but I will say the online part somewhat of a bit concerning because I'm worried about assuming that since Monolith is owned by Nintendo, Monolith Software or Monolith Soft, um, I am a little bit concerned of whether or not this title. I'm just just worried about since the Switch is designed as this console you could bring with you bring with you on the go, the online portion I'm a little bit worried because I'm wondering can this title still be enjoyed if it's if you have an offline experience or does it have to be online 24/7? So that's the part that worries me a little bit. But I will say it's since it sounds like it's way early in development, it's going to be a while since we heard hear anything about we'll hear anything about it and I'll give them a benefit of the doubt at least with the online part so we'll just have to wait and see how things played out plays out on that part but overall very good that monolith soft or software is working on a new IP outside of you know the Xenoblade Chronicle series and while I still wish that Xenoblade Chronicle X is ported over to the Nintendo Switch. I do believe it will at some point, just maybe not this early since we're getting Xenoblade Chronicles 2 though. Um, still, I'm very excited for the for the studio. Um, looking forward to Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and I'm looking forward to their next title. Hopefully we'll get some in more information eventually down the road, but we'll have to wait and see. But overall, good that they're working on a new title. Okay, uh, we're going to take a bit of a break, and when we come back, we're going to be talking about a comment made by a boy over at Square Enix at Gamecom during a Twitch stream about the possibility, or at least the way he presented it, the possibility that Final Fantasy XV could be coming to the Nintendo Switch. So we'll take a bit of a break, and we will be right back. Okay, and we are back with part two of our My Two Cent video for this week. And for this one, we're going to be talking about a recent comment that was made by one of the producers of Final Fantasy XV that has certainly got some people excited, though. Uh, for those who are unaware, Final Fantasy XV was released sometime last year, though. I definitely enjoyed the game. I have it on the PS4. It was a fun title. Um, it did the combat definitely did have a little bit of a Kingdom Hearts vibe to it, and I prefer those kinds of RPGs, those action type of RPGs in general. So, with this title, though, it appears about it's certainly gained some more love this this time around. Apparently there was an announcement for the PC version, which will be out in 2018, so the game is being ported over to PC. And there's an announcement of a pocket version, which is set for um, Windows 10, ISO, and Android, that will be sort of like, it's basically bringing Final Fantasy 15, but in a different graphic style and so on. So that one has been announced as well. But the one that has caught some people's attention lately has been a comment made by Square the person at Square Enix on a Twitch stream that has certainly gotten some people excited and so on. Um, from posts from Game Rant, I'll have a link in the description. In, in the description, it says, "quote to in terms of someone asking him about the future of the Creamy Popper Final Fantasy title, it said to answer your question of what other things we got planned for the future, we can't give you any complete solid details." right at this moment but policies wise we we very much do want to move on and do as much as we can with this game and the franchise so there is another certain console out there that out out there people may be thinking of it sounds like a little bit like you guys your name twitch i think we'll just leave it at there now following that statement people just went we're thinking oh my god Final Fantasy XV has been announced for the Switch, though, or sort of in a way. Now, I'm not ready to jump to an official conclusion yet, okay? Um, as of right now, we don't know if this is an official confirmation, despite some of the comments made by other YouTubers, particularly, you know, like Player Essence and so on. I mean, don't get me wrong, I respect his channel. I think some of the content he puts out is good, though, but at the same time, we don't know if 
this is if if it means that they're working if the creators of Final Fantasy 15 are working on something new if they are actually working on Final Fantasy or if they're bringing Final Fantasy 15 to the Nintendo Switch and even if it's even if they're bringing Final Fantasy 15 to the Nintendo Switch which version are we getting um, a lot of people are pointing to the fact that they think that the pocket version that was released for ISO and Android is the one that's going to be brought over to the Nintendo Switch, even though technically Square Enix has not said anything outside of that just little teaser comment that they made. So we don't know 100% for sure. Personally, I would like Final Fantasy 15 to come to the Nintendo Switch. I certainly would be open for that title to come to the Switch. I think the big question is, and let's just say for argument's sake, Square Enix decides, okay, we're bringing Final Fantasy 15 to the Nintendo Switch. Let's say that does happen. I think the big question is, is it, would it be an easy port to do? Um, will are the, what kind of what kind of optimization will, will they have to go through? Are there areas they may have to sacrifice in order to bring the game over to the Nintendo Switch? Um, or are they just going to simply just do the pocket version instead? Or if they're going to do tell a different story that takes place within the timeline or in the universe of Final Fantasy XV. So there's a lot of questions that's being asked right now, though, all right? I want to be excited for it, though, and I would love to see Final Fantasy XV come to the Switch, but I'm setting my expectations mild because I don't want to raise it so high and then suddenly be disappointed if by some reason they announced the pocket version of Final Fantasy 15 although I would say that if they if that was if that's the version they're bringing to the Nintendo Switch I have a feeling a lot of people particularly Nintendo fans will be pretty upset if that's the version that they are bringing over of course of course like I said earlier nothing official has been announced just yet though so I would say bottom line on this one I would say um, Yes, I would love Final Fantasy XV to come to the Switch, though, but I'm a little curious to see um, exactly what kind of version they would bring over. And until an official confirmation has been made, not to mention an official video of the game running on the Switch or actual screenshots of the Switch version, until we have that official confirmation, an official video, an official screenshot, I'm taking a wait-and-see approach, and I'm taking a cautious approach, okay? Not that I'm saying I don't want the game to come to the Switch, I'm just saying I'm not ready to jump to the conclusion and say, oh, they are officially bringing it to the Switch until I see the actual proof with, with my own eyes, though. So, overall, I'm not... Overall, I would like for it to come to the Switch. I would be happy if it would come to the Switch, but until confirmation has been made, I'm taking a wait and see approach on this one for now. Okay, I'm um, going to take a bit of a break, and when we come back, we're going to be talking about the last story, which is the announcement of a remake of Fear Effect coming to not only PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4, but also the Nintendo Switch as well. So we'll take a bit of a break, and we will be right back. Okay, folks, we are back with our third and final video for this week's My Two Cent. And for this one, we're going to be taking a look at an announcement that was made this week of a remake of an old uh, PlayStation game that was released back in 2000, I believe it was called Fear Effect, that is getting a, getting a remake treatment, though. And surprisingly, it's being announced for the PC, PS4, Xbox One, but the big one for me is that they're going to bring it to the Nintendo Switch as well. From several articles posted, um, it points out that that the Square Enix Collective announced today that a true to the original remake of Fear Effect complete with improved graphics and controls is coming to the PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC in 2018. Um, developed by Sun. Sunsee, S-U-S-H-E-E, -E, um, the same team handling the Fear Effect Senda, S-E-D-N-A, which from what I understand was crowd, which was on a Kickstarter page a couple years ago that apparently it apparently reached its stretch, stretch goals though. Um, the re remake is called Fear Effect Reinvented and it comes as a result of the passion for fans 
Um, the founder of this development team said, as support for Fear Effect Senda, S-E-D-N-A, quickly builds up steam, we realize how much love Fear Effect as a franchise still has among gamers. At the same time, we realize as well as offering an established fan something new with Senda, S-E-D-N-A, it will be great to introduce fresh players to Fear Effect by remaking that first great adventure. Fear Effects Reinvented will capture the same spirit and atmosphere of the original game, but it will bring into the, the presentation pre present with dramatic improved visual, tweak controls, and other exciting extras. Uh, fear not, however, those original fixed cameras and angles will remain in place, a bit players host to some brand new high definition visuals. Now, I've heard a little bit about this game. I'll be honest with you, I never played it before, but I do remember reading it in an old game fan magazine, remember that, um, about her hearing about this game. It had, had a little bit of sort of a Resident Evil feel, at least in some areas though. But I've also heard about some of the controversy at the time, particularly with the sequel, which acted as a prequel, including um, some questionable ads at the time that Unfortunately, it caused some controversy, uh, mostly because of the two characters were, since I never played the second one, I really don't know, but from what I understand, two characters were, you know, the whole same sex thing. Of course, that was back then. By now, I don't know, if, I don't think it's a big deal right now, but in either case, putting the controversy aside, though, um, the series is beloved by a, a certain audience, though. I mean, it didn't gain the attention that other games like Resident Evil at the time that used to fix camera, but it certainly gained some fans. And hearing the fact that they're remaking it is a nice addition as it brings in a new audience. And the fact that it's coming to the Nintendo Switch kind of surprised me a little bit though. Um, it does make you kind of wonder with the Switch version, is this being developed by the team that's working on the PS4 or Xbox One? Or is this being developed by a separate team and so on? So. It's sort of interesting to see how the Switch version is going to play out, but I am very pleased that the game is coming. I am looking forward to trying it out, and while I'm not big on the whole fixed camera kind of approach, I still think they could have gone with, you know, say like what Resident Evil 4 did in a way. I'm still going to be willing to give this game a go. Um, it just surprised me that it's coming to the Nintendo Switch, and it'll be interesting to see if this one does well, will that Fear Effects 2, that prequel game, um, be released, and could we see the rebirth of this franchise for a new generation and a new audience? So, kind of interesting that they announced this, though, um, but nevertheless, I'm looking forward to it. I'm particularly looking forward to see how the Switch version plays out, though, but overall, Great that Fear Effects is coming to the Nintendo Switch. And for PS4 and Xbox One owners, you're getting the game as well. Also, PC owners as well, too. <clears throat> okay, uh, this concludes this My Two Cent video for this week. And again, these are my opinion. But what are yours? Um, what are your thoughts about Monolith Software working on a new title for the Switch? Are you excited for it? Are you not excited for it? though do you like the direction they're going with supposedly with this title even though it's way early in development um do you think they should have gone the route with xenoblade chronicles or not um and what are your thoughts about final fantasy the possibility of final fantasy 15 coming to the switch do you think they're making that to, making that game to the switch or do you think they're making something else um do you think and if it is final fantasy 15 do you think it will be the port that we saw on the PS4 and Xbox One, or do you think it's going to be the pocket version, or do you think it's going to be custom build, built from the ground up, and so on? Um, are you looking forward to the title coming? Are you not looking forward to the title coming? And what about Fear Effect being the first one being remade for the PS4, Xbox One, and the Nintendo Switch and PC? Are you happy that they're remaking the game? Are you not happy about them remaking it? Are you looking forward to trying it out yourself? Um, do you agree with what I said in this video? Do you disagree? Do you have a difference of opinion? Um, as always, sound off on the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And I hope you hit that like button. I would appreciate it. And I hope you do subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
Also, feel free to share this video if you want to, and feel free to donate to my channel if you like. You could do it through PayPal me or through Patreon. Again, links will be in the description of this video. And and this concludes this video for this My Two Cent Switching Gaming News for this week, and I will see you again next time when I do another video. Hopefully that will be soon. Until then, from Southern California, wish you all a good day. Bye!